For, for those in our world today who continually reject God, there's still hope. And he goes on to say this in verse 28. As far as the gospel is concerned, they are enemies for your sake. Meaning they have rejected the gospel. And sin still is the defining reality of their life. For them and for those who reject God. But as far as election is concerned, right, as God's chosen people, they are loved on the account of the patriarchs. Meaning they're still God's chosen people, verse 29, for God's gift and his call are irrevocable. Like God can't go back on his promises. He gave promises to the Israelites generations and generations and thousands of years ago. And he's saying, I'm still going to be good on my promises. I'm still going to be faithful to my people, even when they reject me. And the thing I'm going to continually call them to is a recognition and a submission and humility to receive who I am in the person of Jesus because it's in and through him. I'm bringing reconciliation and redemption to the entire world. He's trying to communicate that for those who continually reject God, Jew or Gentile alike, there is still hope. 